Never a time for making believe. A message from Theo. Be free in the way you hold your thoughts about the world and the way it will become what it is to be. The processes that are underway are being monitored by interstellar beings whose sole purpose is to facilitate the self-sustaining transformation of worlds. The planet you inhabit is undergoing changes to the inner framework of sentient reflexive understanding of itself as a planetary being. What this means is that planets are self-aware to varying degrees, as are humans, and Earth is coming into an enhanced level of understanding of itself. This requires review of experience and dispensing with extraneous data. What is left after clearing planetary memory forms the basis from which new understanding of itself can build anew. When the force of change is part of your waking reality, it will fill the space of life being lived as wind fills the sails of a ship. You can watch the sails flutter and spin, or you can learn the wind's secrets and adjust the sails in response to its movements. Know that it is far better for you and for the fleet of ships that comprises the whole of humanity to raise the sails to catch the winds rather than sit and talk about things while the winds pass. A single moment can change everything. If you pay attention, you can ride the wind to a new sea. Many of your probable realities present themselves now. What happens is as much dependent on what each individual chooses as the big movements of states and nations. The leaders of your world's government each has a role to play in how the present period in history plays out. However, you as citizens of the world are not without power, nor are you present at this time merely to concede that power as the big players make their moves with nary a thought to your true welfare. You are here now to bring to a point of culmination what your soul has been perfecting over lifetimes. You carry within your soul memory the codes that can bring your entire race into equilibrium with planetary movements toward experiencing total change. Such a shift happens as an externalization of what is put into momentum interiorly by the individual alone. Each one attracts itself to other ones, and soon individual change becomes an externalized, plural experience, on and on, the many becoming one, which then becomes the many coalescing into integrated wholeness, and so on. Where will it lead to? There are many who present stories that contradict the truths that have been given to you. Listen to them and let your innate intelligence separate the eventual truth from the stories you have been taught to believe. Now is the time to challenge history with a clear head and open heart. You have no reason to believe in the future you're being prepared to accept as inevitable if it is merely an extension of a sequence of carefully crafted lies. What you have instead is the reality you long have expected yourselves when you look through the eyes of your soul. While as individuals your expectations vary from one person to the next, from the levels of soul what you experience in the world is precisely what your soul level self has decided to have the experience of. Even what you perceive as mistakes, even what you feel as pain or fear or anger, these are all things you and your soul level self have chosen to experience. While this may not be a very welcome bit of news for those who are experiencing such things now, the world will show a golden rainbow after the storm of tribulation ends. For now, dear family of Earth's time and place, we ask to only have a tiny portion of thought where it may be put to best effect, and that, for a moment, is in considering that everything you need to know is indeed accessible to you when every perception is cleared from the distorting effects of belief. The lens which focuses the light of mental clarity 
is one which only has the property of unadorned truth. Even to have the intent to let go of beliefs is associated with the belief that something has the power to hold you. Only when you know can you be without belief. Only then will you truly be free. This is a message from the League of Light through Theo. Thank you.